All right, today we're going to look at how a TV antenna preamplifier or preamp can help your TV signal. A common problem is this. You might have a channel that comes in, but it's badly pixelated and is not watchable. One solution to that would be to install a preamplifier outside at your TV antenna. A preamp is different from an indoor amplifier because with an indoor amplifier, amplification only takes place after the signal has traveled through a length of coax cable, subjecting it to all kinds of loss. And at that point, you may or may not have a signal that's watchable. By the time the signal actually makes it to your TV or digital converter box, half of that signal is probably gone and the signal could be weakened to the point where you end up with something like this. Massive pixelation, a channel that's totally unwatchable. The big difference is, is that a preamp does all of the amplifying out at the antenna and holds the signal. So it's sending a much stronger signal through the coax cable. And once it gets inside, you have a much better chance of having a channel that is strong enough that it's still watchable. Remember that a preamp's job is to hold whatever signal is already being received by the antenna. It holds it at the antenna and then delivers it through the coax cable. So by the time it runs through the length of coax into your TV or digital converter box, there's still enough signal there to make that channel watchable. What a preamp will not do is magically bring in extra channels that are not already being received by the antenna. Sometimes you hear people say stuff like, well, my channel count increased when I added a preamp. Well, the channel count only increased because those channels were already being received by the antenna and the preamp holds the signal well enough to make those TV channels watchable inside. But it will not magically find new channels out of thin air unless your antenna is already receiving them. A lot of people think that preamps need a separate power wire run outside to power the preamp at the antenna. That's actually not true. Preamps use the coax cable itself to run DC voltage back outside to the preamp module at the antenna mast. And that's what allows the preamp to keep that signal strong enough for the long journey through the coax cable back inside to your TV. This is the part of the preamp that gets mounted outside. It gets bolted to your TV antenna mast and the connections are pretty simple. You have a coax cable that comes out of your TV antenna, and then this one here loops into the input side of the preamp, and then on the output side is this cable here that runs back into the building to your TV or digital converter boxes RF input, and this cable, besides carrying the TV signal in, also has the job of bringing that DC voltage back out to power this preamp here. Make sure you use a good quality piece of RG6 coaxial cable to ensure that your preamp is getting enough voltage from the power supply. Don't make the mistake of using a piece of RG59 that has a really thin center conductor wire. RG6 has a heavier gauge center conductor and is better insulated to make sure that that long run of cable is going to carry enough TV signal, but also provide adequate voltage to power the preamp itself. You also want to mount the preamp as close to the antenna as possible and keep that jumper coax between the antenna and preamp as short as you can, thereby preserving as much TV signal as possible. Once again, these are the outside connections. The cable from your antenna runs into the preamp here. And this cable runs inside the building to your TV. And now we'll go inside and take a look at how that power supply is connected to power this preamplifier outside. Made some room on my messy bench to show you the inside connections here. This is the power supply for the preamp. This is to be mounted indoors only. And this has to be plugged into a wall outlet. And this is also known as a power injector because what happens is, is that as the coax cable comes in from your TV antenna, not only is the signal delivered from the antenna to the power injector, 
but there is DC voltage that is back fed through this coax cable to power that preamp up at the mast. And once that signal is held at the mast, it is delivered through this coax cable back through the power injector. And the outside of this gets connected to the RF in on your TV or digital converter box. And that is what holds those channels and brings them in to make them watchable at your TV. This is the signal on VHF channel four before I added in the preamp. You can see that there is major pixelation. This channel is totally unwatchable. The signal strength is hovering around 39, 40%. And at one point it even drops out completely. And with the preamp in place, the signal now is up around 50% and all that pixelation is gone. In some cases, adding in a preamp can actually work against your TV signal. If you live in an area with really strong broadcast signals or you live close to the broadcast towers, adding a preamp in can actually over amplify or overload those signals, causing pixelation and channel loss. Once again, it's worth repeating that any amplifier, whether it's an indoor model or an outdoor preamp, is not going to amplify a TV signal that your antenna is not picking up. A preamp might be the answer to holding on to a TV signal that your antenna is picking up, but that you were losing through a long coax run. And 10 or 15% difference in signal strength might not seem like a lot, but when you're talking about digital television and it's all or nothing nature, that can be the difference between having a channel that is watchable or not.